It's actually not as simple as you might think, as there is today no commonly agreed global definition. And without that, we cannot be sure that people are using the same criteria. This could have severe impacts on women's economic empowerment programs and thus on gender equality. My name is Maria Gustafsson and I work at the Swedish Institute for Standards. Before we begin, let us listen to some definitions that are currently used around the world. A woman entrepreneur is businesswoman or owner of their own business with uh, more than 30% ماني متأكد من السؤال بس تسألوا إنه المرأة العاملة أو المرأة التي تكون هي صاحبة العمل. في دانمارك أرى إنه هناك أوفيشال تفنيشون في كفندي أو في أكسام هيل. في كولومبيا لا يوجد أي تفنيشون فورمال للي هو مكان أو 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 مكان But another way might be looking at who controls the C-suite. The business must be 51% owned by a woman. It must be 51% managed by a woman. And that 30% must have employment of women. In Mali, for a woman entrepreneur, it will possess at least 50% of capital. As you see, there are many definitions all over the world through its members. ISO brings together experts to develop voluntary consensus-based international standards that provide solutions to global challenges. The ISO International Workshop Agreement process will serve as a platform for stakeholders beyond our membership to participate in an open debate and reach consensus on what is a women-owned business. This allows us to leverage additional efforts towards standardization work in support of gender equality and SDG 5. I'm delighted to have been nominated to chair the ISO International Workshop Agreement process to come up with a definition of what a woman-owned business is. The International Trade Centre and the Swedish Standards Institute, in collaboration with ISO, are running a series of workshops to bring stakeholders together to define what this actually means. Hope you can join us there.